If you've ever seen enough of those generic extended reach devices in stores, or have tried using one yourself, you might start to wonder how much thought really went into their designs. Through an attempt to revolutionize the concept of an extended reach device, the second year group of engineering students have started to realize what the engineering design process and working as a team is all about. In short, we were given a single task, to develop a prototype extended reach device designed for the intention of lifting heavy objects, but that wasn't enough to start working on when creating a design. We needed to define the problem by ourselves first. Once we knew what our problem was, we could start doing what engineers do. We could solve it. The first step was as a team deciding what a solution would need to do, what an ideal solution would do, and determine what those solutions would be limited by. In other words, we needed to define our functions, objectives, and constraints. Most of our functions were based on the given client requirements, while our primary constraints were safety and buildability. Research into metrics such as hand grip strength and material cost helped give us the groundwork to establish four alternative designs. Finally, by rating the effectiveness of each alternative according to how well it satisfied our project goals, we agreed upon a final design to move forward with into analysis and fabrication. However, there are a few cases where a concept translates well from the idea to the prototype. First, we needed a set of drawings from parts to assemblies to prove that our idea was practical and buildable. But not even that was enough. We needed to make sure our idea would be both safe and ethical to build. We needed to analyze our design mathematically. One of our objects is uh, our grabber should carry 3 kg uh, maximum loading. Based on this loading, we did our calculus. We calculated the maximum stress for the front support to be 0 0.47 megapass, and for the back support is 0 0.15 megapass, both of which are less than the allowable strength for wood, which is 10.8 megapass. Therefore, in conclusion, the structure is stable at maximum loading. At last, we were ready to begin constructing our prototype based on our set of drawings. The shape and dimensions of some of our parts pose some unique challenges. They could only be created through computerized 3D modeling and then either laser cut or 3D printed. In our thoughts and ideas into a working prototype was an exciting experience. No one in our group had used a laser cut or a 3D printer before, so that was a new experience for everyone. It was exciting to see our 3D SOLIDWORKS models turn from a conceptual thought into an object that we could hold in our hands. Yeah. Assembling our grabber allowed us to experience the challenges faced when transitioning from a conceptual design to a working prototype while also overcoming the obstacles we faced during the process. And obstacles there were. While we tried to create our drawings with enough detail to avoid any ambiguity in our design, facing problems was still inevitable. We figured that, as with any engineering project, we'd eventually run into some problems while building and testing our design. Indeed, it seemed that no matter what we would do, any string we used would uh, eventually just fray and snap. We attempted using several types of nylon wires and even metal wires, but each time it would either snap or stretch too much to provide any decent claw strength. As it turned out, we were never even close to exceeding the string's tensile strengths, but instead there were enough rough surfaces inside our parts that the strings would quickly fray. Without redesigning the mechanics of the claw, our best bet was to reach a compromise between stretch and smoothness to reduce the wear. Although our team struggled to produce an ideal solution, in the end we succeeded in producing a functional prototype which survived a gauntlet of tests suited to the objectives that we set out for its design. Though we couldn't always find perfect solutions, the team really came together through tough times and sleepless nights. In the end, we could all look back fondly at the experience and all of us learned a little bit more about what can be accomplished with determination and a great team.